There's no need to worry about your future because God is already there. There's no need to worry about your past because guess what? You don't live there anymore. Because see, God is always doing a new thing. But forget all that, it is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Listen, you may be in a dry situation right now. You don't see hope. You don't see possibility. You're not being optimistic about the situation. You're being pessimistic. You're saying, oh, come on, surely can't nothing happen for me. He said he'll create a river in the dry wasteland. That means God can turn nothing into something. So stop seeing a situation and taking it at face value. No, you got to take it at faith. That's why the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Because on faith street, you're going to see it before it happened. You got to know that God is going to come through. You got to forget about your past. Like I said, you don't live there anymore. Because of one bad experience in our past, we walk around scared, fearful. We walk around operating off of our memory instead of our imagination. We stop thinking about what could go right and we keep thinking about what went wrong and that's going to happen again. Nah, that ain't, that, no, no, don't worry about that. Stop relying on your memory and, and the bad things that happen and repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. 99% of the stuff we worry or we think about that's going to happen, it don't even happen. If I would have known what nothing going to happen, I wouldn't have been worried for five months, six months, seven months, a year, two years. I wouldn't have even been worried about it for three days, stressing about it. All that stressing, stressing and worrying. Done grew a gray hell right here worrying about that thing and ain't nothing even happened. So what does that tell me? We're going to trust God next time. Sometimes you got to bump your head a few times to learn. Sometimes you got to crack an egg in order to make an omelet. But a lot of times you ain't got to crack the egg. You could, you, 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 you could just get in the word and say, oh, okay, I'm going to do that. So look, don't worry about your future. Don't worry about it, but be optimistic. And know that God is undefeated. You have to check his track record. He got you through everything in your past. And if you still breathe in today, if you still have a pulse, that means God is undefeated because he got you through everything. You know what I'm saying? So why would you doubt him? Don't doubt him, man. I want to read you another one. Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. Have you not heard? Have you not understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak. Even youths will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's the recipe. We can't do it on our own. I need, I need the word of God every day to get my strength. You got me? But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. That means, listen to me, God that can feel you. And see, listen to me. If you study the eagle, you'll you'll see an eagle's vision is not like anything, any other kind of bird. An eagle can see like five miles away. That's why when you you ever watch on TV, you see a big eagle swoop out the sky and get a little earthworm. And you like, how the eagle saw the earthworm from way up there? Like he ran, the eagle flew way down there and scooped up, up. He seen that from five miles away. So what is that telling us in the natural? Watch this, when God renews our strength, when we submit the situation to him, when we get in his word, when he take him at his word, watch this, he renews us, he gives us vision, he gives us clarity. You got me? They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. 
See, you're not going to grow weary because, see, you're natural and he's supernatural. When you allow him to supernaturally flow, flow through you, it's the Holy Spirit working. So watch this. When the Holy Spirit is working, you rest in. But when you rest in, the Holy Spirit is working. So who you want to work? Let the Holy Spirit work in this Jesus is carrying the mother load. In other words, if me and you, if we walk in with, uh, let's say, a 100 pound log, right? You got me? And, and, and see you you kind of strong i'm not really that strong i don't really be working out like that right but you bench press and you lift weights and you work out and you see me kind of falling with the log both of us holding the log but you see me kind of like falling down and you say demarcus look i got it i got it and like you you take the whole log up on your shoulder and now I'm walking on side of you, but you got the whole log. And you know me, I'm smiling. I'm like, man, I'm so glad I got out of that. That hurt my shoulder. That's what God is saying. Watch this. He said you will run and not go weary. Because see, now you're not carrying that load anymore. You're allowing Jesus to carry the mother load. You're allowing him to carry your burden. You're allowing him to carry your fear, your doubt, your unbelief. Carry all your worries. You're laying it at the feet of him. Because he don't want you fearful. That's why the Bible says cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. That's why the Bible says come to me all ye who are burdened and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me because I am gentle and lowly at heart and in me you will find rest for your souls. What does rest mean? That's freedom from your stress, struggle and strain. My yoke is easy. The burden I give you is light. Jesus is saying to Marcus, give me everything you're dealing with. They were running, I grow weary. They were walking, I faint, man. Look, hey, today is your day to trust God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the past you might not have been trusting Him. You may have been questioning things, but but look, I need you to go all in today. Take them them scriptures that I just read. Get in your Bible. Get you a highlighter. <laughs> you gotta keep you one, man. Get in your Bible, man. Get in your Bible. Highlight some stuff, man. Read some stuff, man. The word of God is for you. The Bible is a love letter, man. It's a love letter. Written to you. Know that everything is going to be all right because God is on your side. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. God is always with me because that's right. God is always with you. I mean, in his word, he said he would never leave you nor forsake you. So what that mean? He with you right now. Even if you're feeling confused, he's with you right now. He's love you. He's merciful. He still has you in the palm of, of your hand. You may be confused, but he's not. God loves you and he's sure about that. His love for you is unconditional. That means it's not based upon condition. He loves you. He wants you to know it's going to be all right. You can trust me. I got you. He, he, he got you. Yeah, he got you. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.